While it is hard to rank rivers and lakes around the world in terms of which is the worst, there are a few that stand out the crowd. Pollutions like industrial waste, sewage runoff, overpopulation and agriculture discharges all make for a quite toxic brew. Lake Kerkai is a small lake in central Russia. It is often referred to as the most polluted site on earth. But how did it become so polluted? Believe it or not, Lake Kerkai is completely contaminated with radioactive and other types of waste that was dumped into the lake from the Mayak nuclear waste storage facility starting in 1950s. The lake in Russia's southwest Chelyabinsk region, close to the modern border with Kazakhstan, is located within the Mayak Production Association, one of the country's largest and leakiest nuclear facilities. Built in the 40s, as Soviets moved permanent production east to avoid Nazi invasion, Mayak was one of Russia's most important nuclear weapons factories and was off limits to foreigners for 45 years. By the mid-50s, the Russians decided to cease dumping nuclear waste into nearby lakes and rivers, instead pumping it into raw vats. Then, in 1947, they exploded with a force equivalent to about 85 tons of TNT, spooving about 70 tons of radioactive waste a mile high. The dust cloud sped isotopes of cesium and strontium over 9,000 square miles, effective some 270,000 Soviet citizens and their food supplies. Containing just one square mile of water, the lake formed a dumping ground for nuclear waste by the Soviet Union for around 12 years between 1934 and 1957. Apparently, high level of radioactive waste makes up almost the entire lake bed to a depth of around 3.4 meters. Some areas surrounding the lake have radiation measurement of around 6 cv per hour, which is enough to give a lethal dose to a human in as little as 30 minutes. In their long decades of obscurity, the nuclear engineer at Mayak spent their time merely having nuclear meltdowns and dumping radioactive waste into the river. Some of the people living nearby were evacuated after these accidents, but many were just left to inhale contaminated dust and drink tainted water. The water down waste was a cocktail of radioactive elements, including long-lived fission products such as strontium-90 and cesium-147, each with a half-life of approximately 30 years. The nearby Teka River, on which several villages relied for water, was so contaminated that up to 65% of locals were stricken with radiation sickness. Today, huge tracts of Chayabings remain uninhabitable as a result of the river contamination, the 1957 blast and the 1967 drought. Lake Kerkai's surface is now more concrete than water, but its contamination is still not contained. After President Boris Yeltsin signed a 1992 decree opening up the area that Western scientists were able to gain access and promptly declared it the planet's most polluted area. In an attempt to control radioactive sediment, authorities started filling the lake with cement. This project was started in 1970s and seems to have been somewhat successful. Nearby population centers have been seen a decrease in radiation-related illnesses and bird defects, and the water in downstream rivers is clean. However, a project to test local groundwater is still in its earlier stages, and parts of the lake fort, largely sealed off with concrete, remain extremely polluted. Lake Kerkai doesn't look much like a lake anymore. Today it is mainly covered with concrete to prevent further leakage of radioactive material from the 11 feet deep radioactive sediment covering the lake's bottom. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Thanks.